All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making a little program slash game using Python. So this is not something for absolute beginners. This is, this is for people who like to make their first project. Uh, you know, you've been using Python for a month or two, and you know you're just getting into this stuff. So you know how to make while loops, uh, if statements, and booleans, and, and you know all that kind of good stuff. So, anyways, let's just get uh, straight into this. So. I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use Python Idle or any other program, but I like to use Visual Studio Code. And, you know, yeah, follow my steps. So here we go. We're going to make a new file. I'm going to call this Quizzer. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Quizzer Game. And to end off everything, um, we do a dot .py so that Visual Studio Code knows that we're making a Python program. And you can obviously see, oh shit. Uh, you can see, sorry, <laughs> you can see um, on the left hand side the Python logo, so you know we're good to go. So, first of all, with any game, we want to introduce the player to the game. So, we're just going to say, Welcome to uh, what was it called? Quizzer. All right. And mm, then we're going to ask his or her username, so we're just going to make it, it inputs or slash variable. Uh, we're just gonna say username, question mark, double sign, double quotations, and space, just to make it look professional. And then we're gonna call them by their uh, input username. So we're gonna say print, and da -da 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 -da. we're gonna say hey, uh, comma, uh, and then their username. So you know we have a block this again, we're gonna make another string. Uh, from here, uh, before what was it? The uh, n backslash, and now we can write. Uh, let's get started. Uh, for every every uh, good answer, uh, you get one or one point. And what this black backslash n does, it it moves this string below it. So if I run this now, the program is going to say, Welcome to Quizzer, username, which is going to tool my YouTube name, guns, and then, uh, oh, it actually didn't work. So uh, I think it was backslash n. I think this is the, uh, the way. So guns. All right, there you go. Okay, so it was uh, the backslash and then the ends. I, I just confused myself so many times with this. Is it uh, n and then backslash or is it backslash n? So it's back backslash n. And obviously right now we can see that we're introduced to the game. So let's make the full program. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a boolean. I'm going to put this to true. I'm gonna make a while loop. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna put this to a while, uh, and now we're gonna compare this playing. If it is true, execute this while loop. Obviously, it is true because we defined it. So now we're gonna um, make the full program. This is quite easy to be honest, but it is a lot of fun to do it. So first of all, remember what I said right here. You get one point for every good answer. We obviously gotta make ourselves a points uh, variable and we're gonna set this to zero. And here is where the fun begins. So we're just gonna say print and we're gonna ask the first question. And you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna say what football slash soccer player is known as CR7. If you don't know, this is obviously Cristiano Ronaldo. Question mark. And then we are going to make an answer uh, underscore n. We're going to make this an input. We're going to say input. And uh, right here, oh, and then right here, we can say fill in here, or your answer here, or something like that. Double quotation space. And then we're going to compare this uh, if answer. Oh, it's n one. This is 
we're going to compare this to a string. So we're going to just gonna say Ronaldo. Then obviously it is going to be true or, you know, it's going to be correct. But f because a lot of people, some people might type in capital letter R and some people might write their f his full name, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, we, all we want to do is obviously um, correct that. So we don't want people writing Ronaldo with the small letter R and then be like, wait, what did I just do wrong? So what we do is we compare um, or we make another or uh, statement right here. And I'm going to compare this answer again. And this time we're going to compare it to Ronaldo, but with the uh, normal R, not a capital R. And you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, you can obviously do this again by writing or and an answer is, is Cristiano Ronaldo. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. So obviously if this answer is correct, we're going to print something to let the player know correct. There you go. And we gotta do, we got another, we got to add a point to the variable point because obviously it's now zero. If they get it correct, they get one more point. Okay, and now we're gonna make obviously an else statement because if this is wrong, I'm gonna print and we're gonna say wrong. And we got obviously don't gotta put anything in here. So what we don't wanna do right now is we wanna copy this. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna copy this again. It's not for beginners just for people who are getting into code. Okay, so this next question is gonna be a quite easy one as well So instead of saying what football player is known as your server, we're just gonna, just gonna say what is the capital of oh, of uh, Italy Why not? And, and we're going to change this answer 1 to a 2. Obviously, this is a brand new uh, variable. And we're going to do this with uh, these things as well. So change it to a 2, change this to a 2 as well. And instead of comparing it to Ronaldo, you got to compare it to Rome. Because obviously, Rome is the capital of Italy. And capital R, Rome. And there you go. You can do this as many times as you like. So we're just going to do this one more time. We're going to make it i don't know if i copied something oh uh, just to be sh uh, you know correct and we're gonna do a hard one it's also gonna be a global question we're just gonna say in what continent and wait a minute uh, okay and what continent uh, is took me in Istan lo located question mark and in case if you don't know this is a country located in Asia so again we gotta change this to a three same as this three and then three and instead of comparing it to Rome I'm gonna say Asia with the capital letter A and with the small letter A as well and that is actually you can do this as many times as you like you want if you want to make this a big huge game you can just keep copy paste and you know change the uh, questions a bit but for now i'm just going to close it i mean this is going to be the end so at the end of this uh now you might be asking why did you make this playing true why did you make this a boom why not just you know do this and i'm going to explain it right now so the reason why I did is because I'm going to say final question um, it's going to be input and I'm going to say do you want to play again question mark uh, all right and again if final question is is uh, yes capital letter R uh, yes uh, Y sorry or again final question is is uh, small letter uh, yes double quotations enter and then we're just gonna keep playing this playing boolean on true so I'm just gonna keep it on true because if it says yes then obviously we need to repeat this program so I'm just gonna keep it at true. 
Uh, there are definitely alternatives to doing this, but I like to do it like this. I mean, if you have your own technique, be sure to do it. I mean, nobody is stopping you. You can code in so many different ways, uh, but you know. And obviously, if the answer is nothing, or you know, it is no, or something else, we just gotta break the loop. So this is where we put the break, and then at the end of it, um, we're gonna say print the last print. I'm just gonna say thanks for playing uh, your final points are, and then comma oh uh, comma, and then we're gonna make the points and put it right here. Okay, and that is actually it. If I run this now, make the terminal a bit bigger, I'm gonna say welcome to quizzer username, say guns, can enter, say, hey guns, let's get started. For every good answer you get uh, one point. So, um, what football slash soccer player is known as CR7? I'm just gonna say Ronaldo, see this is true. We get a correct, and we get the next question, which is, what is the capital of Italy? It is Rome correct? And at what continent is Turkmenistan located? It is located, and I'm going to do this wrong. I'm just going to say Europe. I'm just going to say wrong, and then if I say yes, and it's going to repeat the um, loop again. Now, I'm going to do one correct, two wrong, so I'm just going to say Messi. <laughs> Uh, uh, not body, I think. Is it also? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and what uh, is? Uh, we're gonna say Asia. And if I type in no at the end, thank you for playing. Your points or your final points is one of them. Yeah, I should change that. But you know, guys, this is actually it. It works perfectly, perfect for beginner uh, projects. Um, I'll be making another project like this, uh, maybe like a login system or something like that. I think that would be kind of cool to do. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, be sure to be sure to like, subscribe, and usually I post gaming stuff on here, but I also like to put stuff tutorials and whatnot on this channel. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.